glad you're still with us on Colorado and Company. I'm Jackie Polisi in for Denise Plant today. Well, they're business partners and best friends with a sweet business plan to make money. These little chefs are hoping you'll stop by this weekend to shop from them and other young entrepreneurs at the Youth Biz Spring Marketplace in Cherry Creek. Well, I am joined by my two new friends today. I have Khadija Grace Defonda Nudo, and she joins us along with Alea Fabre. And more about why you make these sweet treats and where we can find them. Hi, girls. Hi. Is this exciting? I love what you brought today, but I want to learn a little bit more about you. Tell me how old you are, and you're best friends, right? Yeah. And then tell me how you decided to start this business. I'm six years old. You're six years old. Okay, this is Khadija. Khadija. Okay. And how old are you? I'm seven years old. Seven years old. Six and seven years old, and they've started a business. How did you decide to do this together? So I decided because... At school, I was watching my friends making their business. One was a lemonade stand, and one was a popsicle stand, and that inspired me to tell Cotty. I love it. So one was a lemonade stand, one was a popsicle stand, and now you're doing sweet treats. What kind of sweet treats are you doing, and who's doing all the baking? Both of us. Both of you. That's a great plan. How did you decide what you were going to bake? So we started brainstorming which we were going to do. So I came up with cookies and Kali came up with cake pops. Perfect. Everybody loves cake pops and nobody not doesn't like cookies and, <laughs> and cupcakes. Who do we have here today? We have Elmo and Cookie Monster. And Cookie Monster. And then this is a really special cookie. And you said you baked that today, is that right? Just this morning you got up and baked cookies and I didn't. It's not my thing. All right, so how did you decide that you wanted to make this a business? So how we decided to make this a business is because we both have stuff that it inspired us to make a business and Cotty told me some stuff that inspired us to make Little Chefs. Yeah, what, what kind of things did you say to inspire her? Um, Do you remember? Mm -mm. No, you just had a conversation about it. it, sounded like a good idea. You put your heads together and you said this is going to be something we can do. Right? Okay. So um, what are some of the biggest challenges that you face with us with this business? One of the biggest challenges that we face would be not being nervous. Yes, not being nervous. And I face that on TV all the time. It's trying <laughs> uh, to speak up a little bit to yeah. the customers so they know that we're speaking to them. Very good. How adorable are these girls? Are they fantastic? And what an inspiration for the other, other young entrepreneurs. So what's the best part about having a business together? Um, you get to bake and you get to eat the treats when you're done. Baking. Yes, yes, you do. You get to lick the batter and eat the treats. You got to make sure that they taste good, right? All right. So what would you say to other young, young women or young men who feel like they want to start a business as well? What would you say to them? that be brave and don't let anything get to you and when life is hard it makes you get stronger and stronger. Good for you. I'm so proud of both of you. You're also involved with the Young American Center for Financial Education. Why is that important? Hmm. When you're talking about financial education, you're ta you, you've got a bank account, right? Yeah. And you're charging for your baked goods, and you're collecting money from people, so you have to learn how to manage that money. I would think that's important, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So how can come somebody come and buy your treats? Someone could come, how someone could come and buy our treats is that they could, when they come, they could see what we made new, and if they didn't get to see or taste what we made new, they get to come now. I think that's wonderful. I'm so glad you came on the show with me today. I'm inspired by you. Congratulations and keep up the great work, okay? All right, I have Aliyah and Khadija with me. I'm so glad to have them here today. You can find unique products created by young entrepreneurs like Khadija Grace and Aliyah at the Youth Business Marketplace. Shop tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the Young America Center for Financial Education in Cherry Creek. You'll find gifts for moms, dads, grads, and much more. Call the number on your screen. It's 303 321 2265 or visit yacenter.org for more information.